Ethan, I want you to write down three number sentences to represent the total amount of apples. Okay. Okay, so how could you represent those? Um, I, I usually draw Mass Mountain to show how, how many, and then, and then I use kind, kind of split them apart. Okay. Good. And I usually we just like like to to in my math at school school we get sentences about the thing like there were three apples in, in a tree and then two left o over. Okay. So you could say three. What what math symbol goes between the three and two? Um, they can, they, they also, also, like, if you add them up together, they would be five. Okay, so we would be three plus two? Yeah. Okay, that's what you would write? Good. Is there any other way that you could show five apples instead of three and two? Can you draw another mountain? Um, four and one. Four and one would be another one? Yeah. Okay. Is there any other way you could think of it? Um, that I I can I think that my dad's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a crazy sunshine there. Would be any other ways you can think of it? Um. Well. Um. There can be six take take away away. Yeah. There can be like six take 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 away. Mm-hmm. So how would you write that? Here we can. Do you want a um a new sheet of paper? Yes. Okay. Here's another one. So how could you represent the five apples now? Um. Um. There can be. Um. Th there can be. Um. Six. Mm-hmm. Six take o take away one. Okay, very take good. Five and it, and then at school we write the total amount. And then you write the total amount in the box. Yeah. Very good. And what is that? Total. Okay. Good. Anything else you want to say about the apples? Um. I like them. Yes. I like to eat them. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Thank you, Ethan. You're welcome.